Welcome back everyone. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen my video where I put new speakers in my Aero City and a subwoofer and everything, and I was very happy with the way it sounded. Now the only problem is to really sort of utilize the subwoofer and for the speakers to sound great, you know, it had to be turned up, you know, to a relatively high, or not, you know, really high volume level, but, you know, sort of like an arcade machine. And the problem with that is this is our living room. And sometimes if my wife is watching TV or something, you know, she doesn't want, uh, you know, guns blasting in her ear while she's trying to watch TV. So what I ended up having to do was turn all of the boards down individually and getting all the volume levels the same on all of my boards, no matter, you know, whether it be loud or soft, is, you know, not, not terribly easy. So what I wanted to do today uh, because sometimes I do want it to be louder, especially when, you know, when there's no, no sort of conflict of interest in here. Um, and there's a, a volume adjustment on the actual audio amp that I put in here, but it doesn't do a whole lot of good. You really need to adjust things from the JAMA connection itself. So what I'm going to do today is make a very quick video, and I'm going to show you how to actually put a volume adjustment in here, and I'm going to hope this works because I'm actually having a couple of friends over and uh, they're supposed to be here at 8 o'clock. I, I will show you quickly. Um, let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but it is 6.48, so I'm going to try to do this very quickly. Alright, so some of you may remember this from one of my prior videos. This is my little homemade amp, and for right now I'm going to sacrifice the rheostat off of this and this will provide our volume knob. Now how you're going to want to hook this up is you'll have your negatives uh, both on one side so we're basically breaking the the path of the speaker signal so you'll take the the positive and negative from your uh, your JAMA harness uh, from the board side uh, both negatives will go here and then uh, your positive from the actual board coming out We'll go in this side and then it will actually go out uh, the center here to your speaker. So again, we're just breaking the JAMA connection, both negatives here, positive in, positive out. Okay. Alright, so now we have these guys soldered in and again we have the, you can see the two negatives are both, whoops, are both going to one side here and then we'll have our signal coming in, uh, our positive signal coming in and then our positive signal going out. So, simple as that, let's go put it in the cabinet. Okay guys, so while I'm uh, applying my heat shrink here, I'll just sort of show you how everything goes in. So this is your standard JAMA connector. And if you look on here, uh, pins uh, 10 and L, uh, 10 is this pink one, L is the gray one, are the two that you want. Um, uh, 10 is the positive signal and uh, L is the negative. So you can see that I've taken positive and negative here, and sorry, I'm not looking through the camera here, um, and sent the negative over to where both of them go, and positive over to the right side here, and then on the other uh, end of this this thing here, we've got it coming out of the center and the left, and that goes uh, back into our JAMA harness just where we cut the wire earlier and you know just do the usual twist them together throw a little solder on there just to make everything a little bit more secure uh, definitely the the soldering and the and the heat shrink are very important parts of the process so don't leave those out okay guys we have our JAMA connector connected back Try to give you a little more light in there. So you can see our wires uh, going to our rheostat are actually going up and then through the top here. And I'm actually just going to leave this in here for right now. Uh, there's no real need to have the, the volume control, you know, outside the machine or anything like that. I think just, uh, you know, just leaving it like that is probably going to be fine. I might eventually, you know, actually mount it in here instead of just having it kind of hanging out. But uh, let's give it a shot and see how it works. All right, guys. So I have everything in, tested, works great. Uh, let's take a quick clock check here. And 
looks like uh, we're clocking in about an hour here, which I think is, you know, an okay time frame for this. Honestly, uh, I spent more time <laughs> cleaning up, actually, uh, more time putting all my things away and getting them out uh, than anything. But uh, the, as far as the, the project's concerned, the most time I spent, honestly, was just turning the volume up on all the boards. Uh, you know, I have a, a six-in-one switcher in here. So I've got all the boards sort of lined up, so I actually had to take all of them out except for the last one, turn the volume up, uh, test it, put the next one in, turn the volume up, test it, you know, etc. So that took the longest out of everything, but without further ado, let's check it out. So, uh, of course, this is Bat Rider. So you can hear we've got our music going on there, and... So we can have that really as loud or as soft as we want. All right, so uh, at any rate, I'm going to end video here and have some company over and hopefully have a good time, do a little game. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.